Yo yo, YouTubers! Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow! If you have selected the right side of the map, that means you want to go down the long way. So yeah. Um, just letting you guys know, this was, this section was recorded after I did this, the um, left side cycling road, so... You'll, so you're probably noticing a slight, di a slight difference in the, uh, in the sidebar and the levels of my team. While doing cycling road, in case you haven't already seen it, Root Root has evolved into Venusaur. Out of all three starters, Ivysaur is the only one that evolves the earliest. Um, Charmeleon and, and Wartortle still have to wait till 36. Then I'll just keep going down this way, wrong direction. And no trainer here. So, fast, past this way, not fast. I don't even know if fast is a word. Let's see, what's this lady want? TM39. Well, oh, what's that one? 39. That is Swift. Ooh. Um, Swift is a normal type move, and it never ever misses the target. So yeah, no matter where your po where the opponent is, on the ground or up in the air, Swift will hit. Ain't that slick? I don't know if any of my Pokemon will be learning it. Probably yes, probably no, but yeah. Anyway, as we're now going into into the battles, if you haven't seen Cycling Road already, then you'll see a familiar theme come by. Well, he did say he got a bite, <laughs> and he got it literally. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry guys, I had to. You can see there's an item there, but right now we cannot get to it. We need something later. Alright, let's see what this big guy's got. Fishing is a waiting game. I don't want to play any waiting games, I want to, I want to get up and go. Just get up and go. That's my game. Alright, what do you got? The Fishing Fool versus the Pokemon Kid. Okay, Fool. Let's do it. And that is why you should never fool around. Yep, too much for you to handle. Now nothing else around here except another fisherman, no doubt. You'll be seeing a lot of water types around here, that is for sure. Anyone else notice how weird Venusaur's back sprite looks in this game? I know it does me. I know where his head and nose is, but I can't tell the rest. It looks like he's a... Well, looks like he's wearing a big wig or something. I don't know. I'll just keep going along this way. Anywhere over here? No, there isn't. Remember this spot? This is where Stornlax was. And a required battle. And this music is different. Electricity! So this guy's not a fisherman.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Electrode, the fastest Pokémon in the game. Or at least in Generation 1. Not sure about the other generations. Now in here... The Fishing Guru's brother. He loves fishing like the other guy. Say yes, and you will get... The Super Rod. The Super Rod has... well... As far as I know, the Super Rod has pretty much the, um... It's pretty much the best rod out there. There is a there is a third rod, but we'll get to that when we go over Future City. There's a trainer there, but we need Cut. I don't have Cutter with me, so I'll get to him later. Maybe off screen. I'm not sure. Actually, yes, I found all four. I'll get to that later. Um, in the original game file, I only found three of the Moonstones, but I actually skipped one by accident. Um, in the annotations of the part where I got Flash after Vermilion Gym, um, you'll know where the fourth Moonstone is. Basically, it's south of that area. So yes, yeah, so I already have all four Moonstones, even though I did not show the fourth one, and yeah. If you see the annotations of that part, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. I found Carbos in a cave once. I believe Carbos increases speed. Why, oh why, I hated Fury Attack before is beyond me. Now I like it. Don't exactly love it, but yeah, I like it here. My third Pokemon want to scrap. Uh, sorry pal, no Steel types until Generation 2, so you'll have to wait for three years. Yep. Combo? Yeah, right. Uh, what Pidgey was using while Fiero was in the air is Wing Attack. A uh, flying time move. I don't know if it's power, but I think it's slightly stronger than Peck. Maybe it's the same amount? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Alright, what have you got? I swear, Mega Punch is missing a Locker Shock. Mm. I don't like that. No continuing over this way. And we got ourselves a slight maze here. North to Silence Bridge. Huh, that's na that name's not on the map. No doubt these are beauties. I wonder if we'll find the beast. I'd be glad when Cryothar learns a new fire move. Which unfortunately won't be for a lot more levels. And I do mean a lot. And 
that's that. Boy, oh boy. These trains are starting to get rough now. Alright. And what have you got, lady? Alright, bit of a mismatch at the start, but Shock can handle it easily. And you? Slash is another high critical hit move. So yeah. That is very nice. I think there was an... Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. I think there was an item down over here. A hidden one. No, I guess not. Oh well. Anyway, going up around here. Now I do know which way's out, but... Again, I want to challenge all the trainers. You know, get a lot of experience here. With a move like Slash, I think the opponent's situation is critical. <laughs> yeah. Up over here, anything? Is there anything over here? Yeah, this guy. You need to use TMs to keep, teach good moves to Pokémon. Kinda learned that already, right, Shock? Shock, you keep working those numbers, buddy. Alright. What have you got? Probably another bird catcher or something. And there's that guy out of the way. Boy oh boy, was Flood really working it. Let's see, anything else around here? This biker dude. Um, you? Actually, I'm looking at a TV screen. Except for that guy. You know, I'm thinking Flood and Crowther will be at their final forms in no time at this rate. Well, we gotta move back here. Move back quite a ways. You know, I think now it's time to put the bike, in, bike back in. 
They're weighing on Cyclone Road no more, but still. Go Brute Root. Yeah. A great big brass type taking on a bunch of flying types. <laughs> and winning too, and I just went the wrong way. I thought I knew the way out of here. Alright, we're supposed to go this way. My mistake. What have you got, pal? TMs are on sale in Celadon. But only a few people have HMs. Gee, I wonder why. I'm beginning to see a pattern with those Pidgeotos. Every time they use Whirlwind, they go into Quick Attack immediately afterwards. You guys seeing that? And you? Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? I should have put Zephyr up front. And I thought Fiero had bad defenses. And again, Mew did get a growl to the face. Alright, there's gonna be more spots around here. And by more spots, I mean more trainers. So, Biker Dude, what have you got here? Shock, you sure know how to give it to him. Now I believe this guy is another bird boy. Legendary Pokemon? Your story intrigues me. Easiest battle in history. Oh, you lost because I had a type advantage, and Farfetch'd is pretty pathetic. We're all birds of prey. Very interesting. Well, we are almost done here. We're almost at Future City. But we still got a crap load of more battles to go through. My fear always better than yours, pal. You knew it. Whatever. Alright, what have you got? Better have some grass Pokemon. Not exactly grass types, but I'll take it. Oh no, it's right. Okay, memory serves. Zephyr is that much closer to learning a new move. Uh, sorry, I'm not dating anyone, thank you.
damn it all! Uh, that happened during the uh, during the replay of this game too. People kept killing Shock. Well, now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. Serves you right. Yeah, well, boo on you, lady. Man, I wish I had some revives. Oh well. Let's settle what we got. Well, Charmeleon is one level one level away from evolving. With any luck, maybe the maybe the maybe at least one of them will evolve in this part. I'd actually like that. All right, what do you got? Poisoned again. Whoop de flip undo. I guess right now I'm still really ticked that that Wigglytuff took shock out. You just got Pokemon on a trade. This ought to be interesting. Again. I just love it when that happens. Enough to level up yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. And I'd say those birds are all washed up. And what's this? Now Cryoflare is evolving. That's right. <laughs> From Charmeleon to the ever popular Charizard. And you may not know this, or then again you probably will, but Charizard is a fire flying type. So yeah, those wings are not just for show. Well, that's a, that's two starters fully evolved. One more to go. Though I don't think that'll be happening in this part.
there's one more trainer, I might I might be wrong. Yep, there is. And the last one, too. Come on, make this work. Well, I better hurry, I'm r running a little low on time here. That was a close call. You know what, Flood? You deserve it. So, so our final starting poke starter Pokémon is evolving to its final state, Blastoise. So now all three starter Pokémon are in their final stage, and I really gotta hurry because we are running low on time. So, welcome to Fuchsia City, and things sure have gotten pink, haven't they? I'm probably going to go over this place in, later on in the next part when, we're t when we actually explore this place, so next time Pokemon Yellow, we will, we will explore Fuchsia City a bit. So until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. Goodbye!